We like to experiment with styles, uh, whether they're English, American, or wherever they may come from. Uh, we have an English type of stout, but that's done with a Jamaican recipe with uh, um, toffee ginger. We have a key lime rye uh, milkshake IPA. It's a, a relatively new style that uh, we've taken on board to try to recreate the, the taste of the, of the key lime pie, um, which I think has become very successful. And uh, we, we have a variety of hops which um, we use, uh, both um, local in Kent, which is renowned for its, uh, for its hops, uh, but we, uh, we love to use hops from all around the world, whatever is needed to really emphasize the flavor that we can bring through in the, in the, in, in the style of beer. Uh, but also we produce the beer in a, um, a variety of uh, forms that uh, that are slightly different. Um, cask is a tradition in, in England, um, which uh, we sell a lot of uh, at home. And we brought that to the festival. It's uh, a uh, first for the festival. And uh, that's a very mild uh, fermentation, but in a very mild condition. Um, we, but we, we do the same beer in a key keg uh, and the same in a can. So it's all live beer. They're not, there's no extra CO2 that's added. Uh, we feel that the CO2 really diminishes the flavors of the beer. And so you're getting all the flavor that we intended to have in all of those different varieties. And, um, uh, and they're all slightly different. They, they, even though it's, this, it's really much the same beer, uh, you'll taste, you'll have a different kind, kind of condition, the very fine um, fermentation uh, that comes from the key keg, and it's much, uh, much larger in a, in a cask, for example.